Today I'm going to talk about 3D rotations. Uh, for an introduction, we're going to look at how these rotation matrices are made up. Now, usually we talk about rotations in about three different axes, the X, Y, and Z, and order does matter. And these three rotations can be put together to make a more complex rotation. It may look pretty complex, but it's useful to think about what the identity matrix is to start with. The identity matrix looks like this. Now, any uh, vector times by the identity matrix equals itself. As you can see, this happens because there are ones along the diagonal. Now, if we look at the um, example in the top up here, you can see there is a one and then zeros. This is the same as the one in the identity matrix. So you can see we have a rotation first around the x-axis because x will uh, be unchanged by these this first uh, matrix. In the second case you've got a 1 in the middle and that means that's a rotation about the y-axis and in the third one that's a rotation about the z-axis because you've got a 1 and zeros off the diagonal. So a 3D rotation is made by three 2D rotations about the X, Y, and Z axis respectively. Although you have to be careful that you check that you get the order correct because order does matter. So knowing that, you can then get the rotation about the X, the X, the Y, the um, y and the z axes respectively. X is commonly termed roll, z is commonly termed yaw, and uh, y is commonly termed pitch. Now these numbers here refer to the row one element, uh, column three. So if we look here, we're row one, element three is up here. So that's how we get out the pitch angle. And it's similar for roll and your, except a little bit more complicated. Now my final comment is, uh, you have to be aware of conventions. Um, in this example, uh, Z is downwards. Whoops, I'll just grab my pen tool again. Z is downwards. But often, um, and I prefer to have Z uh, in an upwards, pointing upwards. And often biomechanists also have a Y as upwards and Z as medial lateral. 